welcome back to my channel so today's video i'll be showing you on how i achieved this beautiful waterfall kimono or jacket um all you need to achieve this jacket um is your scissors your tape your chalk your ruler and your sewing machine so yeah after that once you have all that in your pocket the next thing you should have is your fabric your fabric that you're going to be using to make this waterfall jacket so remember to always check for the wrong side and the right side of the fabric because you'll be chucking down your measurement on the wrong side of the fabric so you have all that checked out you have your tools you have your fabric the next thing for you to do is to fold your fabric into four um firstly you fold into two and then you fold that two into two again that is four so once you folded your fabric into four you place it down and where you have all closed as you can see, I placed the beginning of my tape on the point I talked about, where you have all closed edges. And then I'm taking my length around this fabric. This is the same procedure you do when you're making your circle skirts, your um, circle top. This is the same procedure you do. Yeah, as for me, I, I've decided to make the length of my um, jacket, or sorry, my kimono, 28. So now, I, after placing the beginning of my tape there, I'm taking 28 round my fabric. Like I'm chucking down 28 here, 28 here, round. From that point that I'm using, I'm going to be taking 28 round this fabric. Assuming I was making a circle skirt right now, I should be taking my radius on that point. I should be cutting out my radius first, then before taking my length. But that is for another day. That topic is for another day. Probably my next video is going to be on circle skirt or circle top. So yeah. Once I am done taking my length around this fabric from that point, the next thing for me to do is to use my chalk to connect these points together. So I get that semi-circle shape. And I will use my scissors to cut this out. You guys, this is the first step to achieving your waterfall jacket, guys. So please watch carefully. So as you can see, you guys, my table is very small. So I'm trying my possible best to make it very simple for you guys to see what I am doing, why I manage the table. After cutting this out, the next thing for us to do is to open this fabric back into two. As you can see, I have opened back my fabric into two. So you place this down for us to chuck our shoulder and then open up our armhole. So it's time for us to chuck down our shoulder. But before then, I'll be taking a point between 10 to um, 15. You have an option to take 11, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15. But I'll be chucking down 14. So from that point, from this point to this point, I'll be chucking down 14. And um, once that is done, once I chuck down 14, then I'll be taking my shoulder on that point where the 14 stops. That is where my shoulder is going to sit on. So from that point, as you can see, I'm, I'm trying to get the point. I'm trying to chuck down the points first. So from that point, that is where I'll be chucking down my 8 which is my shoulder point, which is my shoulder, 16 divided by 2, you get 8. I'll be chucking my shoulder there. And then from that point, which I chucked down my shoulder, I'll be taking my armhole. My armhole too is 8. So I'll be taking 8 from that point, from where my shoulder is seated, 
I'll be taking it down. And then once I get my 8, I'll be looking for the middle point of 8, which is 4. Uh, and then chucking side by side, I'll be chucking half inch on that point. And making an over shape. You make an over shape. And then I'll use my scissors to cut this out. so guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if the content of this video was helpful you can write on the comment section i am always reading comments guys so please don't forget to do that this waterfall jacket is ready like this as you can see that is if you don't want to attach a sleeve to it all you have to do is to weave or use bias to close all rough edges but please keep watching if you want to see me attach a sleeve to this if you have been following the steps on this channel you already know this drill so before we cut out the sleeve for this kimono first of all we calculate what we have on the armhole on this kimono do not right now i'm getting nine nine and a half so now on the sleeves i'll be cutting out i'll be cutting out 10 to 11 because of the sewing allowance placing down the required amount of fabric i need for my sleeves first of all i'll be going in by three inches and then I'll be going down by 5 inches. You guys, you know this drill already. So I always like to do this so that in case you're watching for the first time, you learn. So I'll be going down by 5 inches. And then using my chalk, I'll be connecting these points together. So this sleeve is a little bit um, different from other sleeves I've been doing on this channel. So to achieve this kind of sleeves, it's going to be slim as it goes down to your wrist. You need to have your elbow points and then your wrist point which is the length where your wrist is going to sit and then you have your round elbow which is going to be divided into two and then your round wrist is is going to be divided into two two so once you have all that covered the next thing for you to do is to chalk down the points you chalk down your points your elbow points and then your length that is where your wrist is going to be sitting on and then you divide your round elbow by two and your round wrist by two and you chalk down whatever number you get on those points then using your ruler to connect these points you see it gets smaller as it goes down to the length it gets smaller that is how it's going to look when you wear it
after taking this to my machine so this is how my sleeves look like so now on the sleeves itself i'm going to be giving it a notch at the middle points where this, the shoulder is supposed to sit on i'm going to be giving it a notch and then now on my waterfall kimono too i'll be notching that part too and then attaching this both together i'll first of all you know where the um the sewing is where the sleeves where i have my sewing that is the point i'm going to start joining this sleeve to the kimono from that is the point i'm going to start joining and when i'll make sure as i join i'll make sure that that place i have my notch sits on where the shoulder point starts from i'll make sure it sits at the middle on where the shoulder point start, starts from and then i'm going to be sewing this round waterfall kimono jacket is so ready guys this is how it looks like attached with a long sleeve please do let me know in the comment section below if this video context was really helpful and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share with family and friends please click on the next video to see how i achieved the shots i wore with this kimono jacket thank you very much for watching from the beginning of this video to the end i love you guys so much bye